Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi to all my followers and subscribers. Welcome back to my channel Cikgu Fazli Bio Sensei. I am I am a teacher, a science teacher, biology teacher from SM Science Sultan Mahmud Kuala Terengganu. Okay. Uh, so today we will continue our lesson in a chapter 14, subtopic 14.3 about locomotion and movement of humans and animal and this video will be focused on the movement and locomotion in fish okay so check it out assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, saya cik fazli bayu sensei jangan lupa subscribe channel saya In the previous videos, you have learned about how human moving their leg, walking, and also how the forearm can be bent and straightened by the action of antagonistic muscle. So, in this part, you will learn about the movement of fish that uh, involving uh, the characteristic of muscle which is uh, antagonistic. First of all, uh, you need to know is uh, fish is same like human, uh, vertebrate animals, but fish is live in water, fresh water or sea water. So the fish is particularly, uh, uh, so uh, water, particularly uh, sea water, has high relative density that will providing resistance to the fish for movement. Okay, and fish, uh, most fish uh, will overcome this problem by streamlining their body. Okay, uh, so how the fish streamline, uh, how fish streamlining their bodies? Okay, fish has a broad caudal fin or tail fin which increase the surface area. So when the fish swim, this caudal fin or tail fin will lashing uh, the tail uh, in the help of myoto muscle which produce a forward thrust to drive the fish forward in the water so in this part you will learn how the myoto muscle works antagonistically and uh, make the uh, caudal fin or tail fin slashing eh, lashing uh, to the right and the left and uh, produce forward thrust Okay, uh, so uh, a fish have um, a few type of fin that help uh, fish to move, which is uh, caudal fin or tail fin, dorsal fin, pectoral fin, anal fin, and ventral or pelvic fin. So all these fin helps the fish. Uh, in movement the muscle that helps the fish to move we call it as myotome muscle okay this myotome muscle will contract and relax to bring about movement in fish and then the fish muscle is in w shape so we can see here the sh the, uh, the shape of muscle is like Okay, so this is the cross section of a fish. Uh, the cross section uh, through the ventral and dorsal view. Okay, so the shape of the muscle is just like this. Okay, the myoto muscle. Eh? So uh, to bring about the movement of the fish, the right side and left side muscle, myoto muscle of fish will alternately contract and relax. So if the right side is contract, the left side will relax. Or when the right, the left side is contract, the left side will relax. 
So the antagonistic action of muscle will help the fish to uh, move the uh, its tail to the left and the right and to produce uh, thrust force. So when the myoto muscle on the left side is contract, so the right side myoto muscle will relax. So the tail be, will be whipped to the left side and slashing to the left. And then when the right side myoto muscle contract, the left side myoto muscle will relax and the tail will whip to the right side. Okay, so this alternating uh, wave of contraction and relaxation of myotone muscle uh, will occur and the action causes the part of the body to move from side to the side. And then it will pushing water backwards and sideways and hence moving the body of the fish forward. The fins of the fish uh, is used to control the fish movement and direction. So the action of myoto muscle from the left side and the right side alternately uh, will causing the uh, body of the fish to move to the right hand side and hence it will produce a thrust force for the fish to move forward okay so uh, the movement mechanism uh, is mainly happens when the muscle contract and relax antagonistically okay so that's all for the movement of fish so we will continue in the next video for the movement of earthworms and birds. Thank you. Goodbye.